Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Callum Let's Play. Please excuse the no face cam episode today. Um, To be quite honest with you, I've been dealing with a bit of a scratchy throat for the last few days and um, therefore I'm kind of in the entire like staying very comfy and, and being somewhat sick, trying to just slurp some tea, etc. Uh, type of life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. I wonder, well, I wonder too, Cherry, actually. <gasps> yes. Callan rocks, but I think I just want a new adventure, you know? Um, Go spread those wings. Thanks, what well, what? I knew you'd get it. Guess I gotta start getting ready then. Okay. What an interesting way to start. But basically, I just wanted to say, I've been kind of in that, like, somewhat sick. I don't feel super sick, but it's just that, you know... I don't know, you kind of get into, into that headspace, so I was just kind of being very cozy, but also because of my sore throat, I have been, well, I don't have any more recorded Let's Play episodes, and I've been, like, I'm running out of them now, so I was like, okay, let's just do a little cozy one where I don't have a face cam, I feel like that would be okay for this one. Especially because today is going to be very much focused on the decorating and I think I'd still be able to uh, like the general vibe and the general idea of today's video will still be brought across even without my facial reaction. So <clears throat> we're going to attempt to do this and uh, that way, you know, I'll record this episode and then I'll rest my voice again after. All right. Oh my god. I can already see some real cuties in the background. <laughs> All right, so today's plan. Today's plan is to finally create that Callan mood board that we talked about. What is up with the villagers on my on my DLC island? This is not. This is this is definitely not it. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to be using um, maybe Flurry's amiibo today. But yeah, so we're going to start a DLC build um, basically, and we're going to try to make that like a romantic coastal retreat inspo build or kind of like an in-game mood board, I guess you could say. Um, I do have the mood board up here uh, on my second monitor. Uh, I'm ready to work, please. Um, uh, it is also still on my website, so I'll link that down below if you want to look at it. And also, truth be told, okay, let's get this started actually. Uh, yeah, contact someone. All right, I've got Flurry's Amiibo here, so let's try and get that to work. Okay, um, perfect. Yay, little fluff ball. Okay, um, so yeah, truth be told, I've also been revamping the mood board a little bit because last time we did it together, I just kind of slapped all the items on there, but I have made a new mood board for a new theme that I'll be talking about very soon. And I did that I did that in a little bit of a different way. And so I was inspired to recreate the one for Callan. And this inspo build will be very good to have for that mood board as well. I'll share it as soon as it's done and everything. I've just kind of been working on it in my free time. But anyway, the goal is to choose a plot where we have Flurry, who I think does work pretty well for the entire aesthetic. Um, she does want Flurry's House of Flurries. We're not really gonna give that to her though, uh, but it's fine. She, she's gonna appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, instead, we're gonna try to pick a plot that we feel like is kind of fitting the entire aesthetic that we want for Callan, and then just make an, 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 a build, an area, a little island or whatever it is to, um, to fit that. <gasps> Oh my god, wait, I've never noticed the picture of this bird down here. How cute is that? <laughs> oh my god, that is so cute. Anyway, oop, sorry. Okay, so let's th uh, let's think. Um, the last one that I made, because I previously thought about the fact that you can so easily, nicely create these like mood boards in the game when you use the DLC, because it's so easy to like use certain items. I chose this plot here, the, what is it, E2? Um, which is like the butterfly plot, uh, because I really like the landscaping of this plot and I think it's quite, it's quite nice, but I believe this is not, I would want there to be some beach portion for, um, for the Callan inspo build. So I don't know, maybe something like this, although admittedly this is not my favorite plot. I think this could be quite cute, but it's very, very small. I don't want to have just beach because that's not how the island is either. Hmm. I have to say that the ones that have beach, like this one has the cedar trees in the background. This one, they're all really small too. So 
Maybe I can choose one with a beach actually and I have to choose something entirely different. I will say I quite like this one, the one with the vines. Um, I do quite like this one as well with the little bridge leading over. I do really enjoy the butterfly one. Plus I guess like something like this, you couldn't really go wrong with either, even if there's also cedar trees in the background. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. No, we're gonna, we're gonna choose this one for now because I like the cliff as like a backdrop for the house. So let's try this one. Mm. She is so freaking cute. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll remove the snowman and I will quickly go inside and just give her the um, required items. We don't have to worry about like meeting those requirements on the outside because I, I doubt that I'm going to be putting a snowman here, right? So it's just going to be kind of uh, this for now, Flurry, and then I might give you a proper like inspo home like I've been doing for the rest of the villagers at some other point, but for now we need to focus on this. So I'm gonna go into build mode and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the season to spring because that is what we're gonna be doing on our actual island. Okay, the grass is a lot like more yellowish green obviously because of the cedar trees, you we haven't been able to to like see that much of a change. Oh my god, flurry the <laughs> furniture that you provide. I mean, it makes sense for her theme, but it's it's questionable. All right, and then time of day. This is also part of why I love this so much is the fact that you can um, easily change the time of day and therefore check if like what lighting you prefer. Now our plan would be to have like a 7 a.m. lighting and this is the 5 a.m. So 7 would be somewhat like this. So very like yellowy tinted, I believe. Very like peaceful and beautiful. Glory might have to move out of the way a little bit. <laughs> and then I should start probably with customizing the house. Now, um, let's just see if like there, obviously this is just going to be one of the possible options for customizing. Um, but it's just supposed to be something that we would feel we would feel happy with. Um, does this come with like a pink door? Okay, and then what about? See, this is kind of what we could do. We could. There's also a white roof. There is honestly with this customization, there's a lot of different roof types that we could probably work in. Um, so I quite enjoy that. And then obviously the house could be even more white. It could be this like slightly blue tinted as well. Um, which honestly the slightly blue tinted with like a pink roof or with a white roof probably works really well for the theme. I think for the inspo, I would want to rather go for maybe something like this, but I think I'm going to switch around and make the roof blue and the door pink. We might still come back and change this later. Okay, and then we do have, I, I like the position of the house mostly. Maybe we're gonna do it more like this because I have a feeling we might fit a, um, a yacht in or something. Now, we do have some pathing, so I feel like we should definitely make use of that. We have chosen a lot of codes, so um, why not? why not actually use that? Where can I start it? Can I start it here? I can. See, I find the using codes in the DLC is so weird to me, but um, I'm going to try my best to do it somewhat the right way. I much prefer laying pathing from my phone usually. I don't know. I think everyone is um, slightly different when it comes to that, but I really, really do prefer that a lot more uh, than having to choose these like piece by piece. It just always kind of annoys me a little bit. Okay, top left corner. I don't think I'm gonna need more of. Let's do the straight on piece. Then this would be closed, it could be a corner piece. Maybe we should, oh, you know what? Maybe we should actually bring the path kind of to a close here. All right, and then let's fit the rest of the pieces. Hold on, that was, oh, see this is, <laughs> I find this so confusing. I don't know why. And then I mess up even in addition to that, which of course is great. All right, I'm going to need the straight side piece and I'm going to need the straight side piece on the right. Kind of like this and then obviously a middle piece. Right, okay. Uh, and then bottom right piece. 
And then let's do... Oh, I should have done another one here, huh? Yeah, let's try to make this a little wider. A little wider blob of, of dirt. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I swear, this is so annoying. All right, as far as pathing goes, that might be it. So, um, coastal retreat. The most important things, of course, are some of the trees. Um, now, the question is, does this work that... Wait, does that mean I can't do... Oh, no. Does this mean I can't do cherry blossom trees here? Can I only do cherry blossom trees when uh, we're actually on the cherry blossom plot of land. Oh no. Okay, that is a little bit annoying. I honestly did not think of that. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to tell we're going to tell Flurry this is finished and then I will talk to her again and I'll move her to the butterfly thing and then I'll see you again. <laughs> oh no. Now because I I finished this, I can do the facilities. I can do a cafe or a restaurant. Let's do the cafe first. Okay. Um, I'm literally just gonna, I'm not gonna even do the inspo thing. I'm just gonna place down stuff. We can revisit this maybe in the future, but I don't like this disrupting me right now. Why? Uh, I just wanted to make a Callan mood board. <laughs> I didn't know the cherry blossom trees would be, would be so mean to us. Okay, I think we're gonna go for a coastal thing. Oh, I actually like this. I like this with the blue. Okay, so Lottie just told me about different lighting and then Nico did just teach me the different, what is it called? The different polishing effects. So I'm apparently learning a lot today. I will go back to this at another point in time. Ooh, oh yeah, this is cute. Oh my God, a little Callan Cafe. Please have Alice and Flurry working here. That is so freaking cute. Oh, don't we all look very coastal together though? That's freaking adorable oh my gosh i don't know why i never noticed this before but with, when you press x it's literally right there on the screen you can change seasons and you can kind of like check where the trees would adapt um so for this one they adapt in the tree color but then for let's pick one in this one for example in spring the trees are all just green i've never noticed this before i love the mixed trees in this one but i think the entire plot itself is a little prettier in this one so let's stick with the original plant and move flur here anyway let's do the same thing again shall we okay let me just fix up our house real quick i do believe this is the one we had so next up Let's do some pathing, um, which mostly is gonna be the top left corner. Let me think straight on. Okay, I think we're gonna to do like two patches of it again. So kind of like this maybe. And then let me imagine, wait, bottom corner, top right. Okay, we do need center center pieces for this here and this here and then bottom straight piece and top straight piece and then i think we have two patches that are pretty much the same shape just turned around but i do i do believe this is this is quite okay i like the position of the house we got a lot of cherry blossom trees in the background so i think we have to go a little bit easy on them um and now my 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 question is okay so these turn into cherry blossom no matter the stage okay but these are green exactly how it would be the only issue is we now, okay, if you want to do tricks like this with like shaking trees in the end, this is going to be a bit tough, but I'm just going to choose pear trees because they're completely green and therefore that's really okay. Right, so with all the pink trees in the background, I do think we need to work with a lot of green trees now to just kind of cover a little bit more. Um, all right, and then let me think about what type of items I would want here, like bigger items, probably. I'm thinking maybe we should do um, a type, look, some clotheslines, like some laundry, because I do think like a soft laundry area could work really well. And then maybe we can make a make-believe type of um, beach or like just a little space by the water here with the sand pathing. Path all right, here is the clothesline. I'm just going to get one of those out. Ooh, definitely a scooter. We could try around with a kid's tent as well, maybe. Um, obviously the surfboard, but a lot of this is also 
probably much better for like when there's the actual beach. Um, oh gosh, our catalog really isn't too big just yet, but that's that's also very okay. Um, we're gonna do the pond stone. I know that there is like a cherry blossom version of the pond stone, but it's like a separate DIY and like a separate item. So um, we're gonna worry about this at a later point when we actually get it. And then I maybe we should just work on, well, I did get like a storefront and everything, but I just don't think we have enough like landscaping or whatever options to really do that here. So instead of that, we might just go ahead and, well, we definitely need some shell items. And I was gonna say, I wanna get some log furniture maybe. Oh, here's some log stakes. I think we probably will work with white birch, right? This is very, oh, look at Flurry being so happy about it. That's good, that's good. We love to see that. <laughs> I've never used like white customizations of stuff. So this is really, really interesting to me. Okay, wait, I'm a little confused though, because I was sure that I was gonna have access to the things that I picked up and that are in my catalog, but then I don't see any of it. But coming to think of it, hold on. Oh my God. You can only do that once you've designed 27 vacation homes. Oh my, I'm so annoyed at that. Why the heck? 27, that's like almost being done. Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna build this uh, inspo thing regardless um, because I, we've been waiting for er, like long enough and I just want to be done with it. Plus I think with the stuff that we do have, even if unfortunately I am missing a lot of the shell things, I think we can still kind of work uh, on a little bit of an inspo, um, an inspo area. And then we might come back to this once we've actually unlocked those things and like build a better inspo thing. If by that time we haven't already like worked on a lot of other things for the actual island, honestly. Um, I did not take into consideration that you had to design so many houses for this, which really sucks. That actually has me quite annoyed if I'm being honest, but um, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We're still gonna be able to, you know, we're still gonna be able to put something together and uh, have fun doing so. But just uh, just in case you also want to do something like this, do be aware, please, that you have to create quite a few houses before you actually get all those features. I really had not considered that because I, honestly, I've just done this before when I had most of it like unlocked or like mostly all houses decorated, so. Yeah, so unfortunately we're missing a lot of like the the, sh the shell items. We're missing the weed fields. Um, those were probably gonna be the main things, but those were also kind of important things just because the shell items really, I think will drive the entire coastal thing home a little bit, you know? Um, plus we don't have a yacht. We don't have a lighthouse because apparently none of the villagers asked for those things either, unless I miss them in the overview in that case i do apologize but i don't i don't think we have them <sighs> but anyway let's get to work i do like the color palette here already which is you know the most important thing okay first things first let's make a little makeshift uh, type of like relaxation beachy thing by the water here so i'm just gonna go and get our shell path all right, I do want it to be like a little bit asymmetrical. So we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger, I think, um, than we usually would. All right, let's bring this out a little bit more as well. And then just kind of close it here in like a straight line. And then we could do a couple of different filler things. We could just do like one of the more open ones and maybe one of the shell ones and then the main one. Maybe we need those to be a little bit further apart though and do this as a center and then the more patchy one there. Okay. And then we're going to customize the parasol thing as well. Um, I do believe we're going to keep white and then I wanted to have one of those beautiful, beautiful fabric codes that we've seen before. So, uh, I'm not quite sure. Like a lot of things would be really pretty. I do very much like this one. The soft blue, it's just really, really pretty. Okay, and then let's see what stuff we can fit around it. So I do think since we don't, I was gonna put like a yacht either on the right side of the house or on the left side, we don't have one. So I believe we're just gonna work with a few trees maybe. 
and put one here as a backdrop and then maybe put one like there. And then also I think I was gonna use bamboo trees as well. So I will just go ahead and do that. Um, Cause they add this like very soft spring core aesthetic which I do quite like. So um, I think that would be like kind of a good idea. All right, a little bit like this. And then maybe as surfboards, we can kind of put them here. And I think there are some different versions for us as well that we can use like some of the blue one. All right, and then as for code underneath, because my main idea is also that we get to actually test out all the different codes that we do have. Maybe we can kind of work in this tile code here. And this is another one of those moments where I curse the way that you put down pathing here, because this would be so much quicker from my phone, but that's fine. Um, and then let's do the single patch. I mean, we have that for a reason, right? Kind of like this. Yes. I like that. I like that. Should we have, we should probably include a little bit of pink trees as well in our build. So it's not just everything around it is pink. And then like what we have is, is, is green. So maybe we'll switch this tree actually and put like a, a pink one here. Kind of like that. Mm hmm. Um, I like the idea of signposts, so let's just put one that kind of gu guides you to the house because in case, you know, you might miss the fact that there is a house right there. Okay, maybe kind of somewhat here or there so that we can put something in front of it. Um, I'll worry about the fillers in that spot a little bit later on, I think, and then let's, oh yeah, let's put that on the roof, exactly what I intended to do. <laughs> Okay, let's put that more towards like the front here. And then I quite like the idea of maybe the bear just just in front of her house. And I, I do think we can put um, a little custom design on the bear as well. Obviously it could be a, t why are the, why are the sleeves yellow in this one? That is very interesting. And then green here, it probably takes like a specific pixel and it ended up being the inside of the flower and like the stem for these two. That's so interesting. I think I want to do like the blushy blue here. All right, I think it's time for a little duck, don't you think? Kind of here, and then we can put the little puddle underneath that we got. Adorable. All right, should we put the laundry spot here in between? Oh, oh no, not that much in between the trees, but should we put that one in between the trees? I think that might be a good idea, and then have some uh, like a little campsite or something here to the left, which I think we can use the stripey one for it. That's really interesting with the stripes on the on the um, surfboard and the stripes here too. <laughs> that could work though. Okay, and let me add another white one because I always do quite like being able to stagger tents. Okay, something like that might work. Now I do want to, there's the other path code that we haven't done. So maybe it's not gonna be the most comfortable tent but maybe underneath, in that case, we put this path code here, the rocks, um, just so we see it in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't necessarily have to be under uh, a campsite or like under tents whenever we create something like that. But again, one of the goals here is also to test the um, the codes again, like with all the with all the items together. Okay, we're gonna. That was not intentional. We're gonna maybe do it just like this so that we ha still have enough room to maybe just plant like a flower in front of the white tent. All right, let's, oops, oopsie. Let's close it to the front here. And then we're just missing a couple of middle tiles. All right, this is cool because now we have like all the different path codes um, in one area, which I do believe is quite, is quite nice. Um, and then, well, this would go back here. We could do another bit of pathing in the back here as well, like underneath the clotheslines, or we also could work with, um, just like filler codes underneath. I don't know what I would prefer, but I feel like I kind of want to bring the one that we have under the surfboards also to the back here. So I will attempt to do that. And then maybe if it doesn't look great, we could still kind of change it out. Uh, let's see. So this here, I do believe could be a flower, in which case I would want it to be a flower. So we're going to have to change it. It can. Okay. Um, I think that's like a nice spot for a flower, right? 
I could do like a single tile of path. So maybe we just start it a little bit over to the left, uh, to the right, sorry. Like that. And then kind of bring it up. It would almost just be like a circle, I guess. But a circle looks pretty good with this path because it has so many pieces kind of going out to the sides. So uh, I believe that that's not the worst idea. Uh, and then the single tile over there, just to have a little bit of stuff happening behind that bamboo tree. I quite like that. And then underneath the, um, ooh, I don't know what this is called, but here we could do either another puddle or of course like a filler type, but maybe we can do a puddle. Yeah. All right. And then we should definitely customize the clotheslines, especially because it's like right in front of this tree. I do think this one should be something blue. Um, let's see what looks good on a shirt. That one's quite cute on a shirt. Or also the one that the bear is wearing. Maybe that could be quite adorable. And then the one in front could be something else blue. I did quite like this one. Or also like one of the flower ones probably looks decent. Let's go with this one maybe. Hmm, maybe that needs to be more subtle, especially behind the parasol thing. So let's try this one in pink. It's kind of the same shirt. I don't mind that, okay. Is this enough room for a complete item? It is, okay. But it doesn't blend out to the sides quite as much as I had hoped it would. Uh, in that case, maybe we'll leave that for now. Just focus on the other side. So I do think we definitely need more trees. Now I quite like the idea of the bamboo trees. I know that I have like, um, I don't like that the trees are now like completely in front of each other, but I can't unfortunately can change it and I do think there should be something as a backdrop and I don't know I don't think we can have anything else here because the uh, unfortunately the amount of items that we do have is very uh, very very limited we could try like a stall maybe I know that I've recently got the stall item as well um I like the recipe for it because I thought it might be it might make sense maybe like this or maybe just in not in the white but in the natural color or maybe one of the one of the patterns that you get like a stripey design like this that's just too many stripes i love this design i do think that we can probably use it or also like the darker one it's just that for this for this specific um for this specific area right now that's too many stripes I love this on here, but then the border of it, like the stitch around it, does make it very obvious that it's just supposed to be like one tile wide. So probably not. We haven't used this before, so maybe that works quite nicely. I don't think we had any of the festival items either, right? No, unfortunately not. Okay. Uh, that annoys me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I do have a little wooden stool, so we can maybe pl just plop like the cake on there. And, uh, you know, this is just the inspo section, so like we can probably put very random stuff on here and it would be totally fine. Um, like if we could put a little cake and then what else do we have in miscellaneous that kind of speaks to us. Let's see from the very top. I wish I had the, at least one shell item because I know I already had one of the recipes, but then again, um, I guess that doesn't really matter. I guess that does not really matter. Um, I mean, a milkshake could work, but like, is it, is it coastal? I mean, probably not. Let's do a little wooden music box. That one comes in quite cute colors, so why not? Does that come in blue as well? It does. Not sure I like it though, although why not? It's kind of cute. Oh, and then I did see, hold on, I did see the lilies, I believe. And I think that those would be at this one. Those would be really nice. And she does love them. So that's a plus for us. Should we actually put those on the little chair maybe? So they're much, much taller. She does, she is nodding. And then maybe just a display of food. I did see that we have the coconut uh, pancakes, I think it is, which are also quite nice in terms of the color. Um, although no. No, we need something a little bit taller. Some Something else. Something, something else. Ooh, how about this little bucket? The rattan. Ret, ret, rattan, rattan? I never know how to pronounce this. I've been questioning my pronunciation of that word for, for so long now. Oh, gosh. 
All right, but we do have a few more spots for trees, uh, which I do think we should probably use. One of which... Oh, we could do a tree stump. Oh, let's do a tree stump. And then let's maybe do another small pink one right in front of the house, somewhat here-ish. Um, something else we can definitely use on the island as well is some, some vines. You know, they do adapt to kind of the color, so I, I think it makes it a little bit prettier. And then we have, of course, lots and lots of flowers that we want to use. Um, there's blue flowers. Oh, it glitched there for a second and wouldn't choose me. It wouldn't let me choose another color. Um, I want to put the blue one back here. I don't know if we can fit that many more trees. I don't think we had access to the cherry blossom leaf pile. We did have access to the other one, though. Oh my god, look at all those butterflies there. Wait, I want to try. Oh no, that's not enough room for a tree. Okay, well this one could be. No, I don't like that though. Alright, and now it's just kind of time to spread around a few different flowers, I guess. And different, um, and different uh, shrubs as well. Alright, we can use blue, we can use pink as well, so... Especially like these four probably. Oh, you know what we haven't used yet? Hold on, we have not used fencing. I don't get any shells here, of course, either. <laughs> but I do get like regular white fencing in like pretty much any color that I want. So um, maybe we do white instead for now. And, I, ooh, I want to try something. What does it look like if I mix these fences? Because sometimes these types of fences can connect really well. And then it's quite pretty to use, like, multiples. Um, oh, okay. But there is, a, there is a pretty noticeable gap here. All right. That's fine, though. That is okay. I don't mind that. Um, we will put some fencing in the back here because it's, it's a very nice way to kind of cover up the back part of this in blue and then i will use oh gosh i will use some of the white version to just kind of decorate a little bits like a few bits and pieces in between i want to have a piece here so we're gonna have to move the the lock stakes maybe like that and then another flower down here yeah let's do that okay back to the fencing it is and then i definitely want to use some weeds for decorating if I can, I'd love to have some fully grown ones, but I also don't want to get my hopes up because it's it's much harder than um, you'd think sometimes. It is unfortunately much harder. Let's put one back here as well. Wait, these flowers also were definitely not planned this way. Um, maybe we can put the blue one here though, and I may like the pink one or change these around. Um, but I like them together like this, but then this pink one has to move, I think. Does it? I don't know where I want- I don't know where I want it to move, though. Maybe just, like, here. Oh. Is this- are you telling me I put this too close to the house? Okay, no, this is unacceptable. I've got, like, an entire row of things I can't move anymore. Okay, we're gonna have to center these a little bit more like that. Because <laughs> I can't not put anything all the way back here. Like, that's way too much space to waste. All right, and then I also can use, obviously, some... Um, I can use some white flowers. I just want to test out for some rocks. Could be a nice idea. And then let me... I don't have a lily of the valley yet, right? Because I just saw that in the one spot I wanted, of course, to have a lily of the valley, and that one does not work. Quite typical, if you ask me. Regardless though. Oh wait, I like it here. I wanted to put it there, but of course it's too close to the tree. I do like it nestled into this spot though. And then I think, I don't know if, I don't think this is enough room for anything. So we're gonna just put a, a coat underneath. I'm actually thinking about like a shell coat here. I'm a little nervous about these because I don't know how well they will blend in. Because I always, I already feel like we need something to kind of smooth out the edges of this. I don't even know. Was I gonna use all these different ones that I chose? <laughs> I think so, though. 
I do believe so. Um, I have, obviously I have a few codes that I won't be able to really check on this one because of, um, because of there not being like a beach portion, but we can always get around to that at a later point in time. All right. I think on this side here, apart from, I'm going to need like another flower, I think. I'm going to need something white and then I'm going to need some shrubs. Okay, so let's put a white mum here and then let's figure out. Um, I think I want some lighter shrub colors. I do quite like the azalea coloration, but then we're just going to do without any, without any flowers on it because unfortunately during cherry blossom season, you don't get any shrubs that actually bloom. So we're going to have to live without it. <laughs> Which is really sad, but unfortunately the truth. Um, okay, and then I think also we can probably use the tea olive too. I always quite like that one as well because it's quite uh, a lighter color shrub. Again, no flowers though. All right, um, here I'd like to have a cherry blossom pile, but like I said earlier, <laughs> we don't have it. We have nothing, we have nothing. We just have a green leaf pile. Uh, which Flurry was just shooketh at, but we're gonna put that down for now. Um, you know, at least the villagers play with it really, really sweetly, so that might just be our saving grace. And then maybe the rest of the spots we can figure out, um, just some filler codes because we still want to test a few of them out. And also, we could maybe drop some some items. So let's just kind of put down some of the codes here. Uh, so we've got the cotton fillers. We do have a couple of like cutesy flowers, which I believe we should definitely definitely use. We have these sand dollars. Those are pretty cool. I can already tell. I think I'm gonna really like those. And then what else do we have? Some blue flowers. We should definitely use some blue flowers and stuff as well. And stuff, of course, as usual. Maybe we can put the 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 doily thing there and then what did i have there and before i think these right and put them over here can this be wait can this be a flower instead i want a blushy pink flower there i never thought i'd say that <laughs> all right and then i think that is mostly everything covered i don't know if i Oh, there's some tiles in the back here. Okay. And then there is no place to plant anything. So we have achieved no tile left behind. We love to see it. However, what we can still do, I don't know if, if we have the stuff, but we could drop some shells. We do. We do actually have two types of shells. Would you believe that? Would you believe that if I told you? Wait, that is so unrealistic. Hold on. You can drop things on half a tile here. Okay. I would love to be able to drop a shell here in the real world, but unfortunately that is not going to even be possible. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess, because we can just do it for the fun. <laughs> we can just do it for the fun of it, but at the same time, that annoys me because I know that we can't really do that. Is there anything else that I would like to drop for now? I mean, we can always drop some flowers, of course, if we felt, we felt so inclined. Um, I don't think there is anything... I mean, we could probably play some slippers if we have them. Um, and I think we do, because I see myself, yeah, we just use them somewhere. Or like these here could be cute. I don't know if we can maybe put them there instead of the, yeah, instead of the shell. This shell is interesting because the color of it doesn't quite match, huh? Okay, but you know what? Maybe this is what we're going to leave it at. Let me see it from our, from this perspective. Okay. I think as far as like the items that we have, unfortunately, I apologize for not like thinking of the fact that you only unlock certain things like the crafted items and the nook shopping items for the DLC much, much later on. Um, and we're obviously not at that point. We have just finished 12 houses now, I think, now that we unlocked the deal, the, the, the cafe. So I didn't think of that, unfortunately, but I think regarding the items that we did have, um, I'm quite happy with this. I will be taking some pictures of this. And then I think next time I see you, cause I definitely have to take a break now with my uh, voice uh, for my voice and my throat. I do think that next time I see you, I will then have like the new, like quote unquote, new mood board um, ready. It, nothing's gonna change about the theme. It's just the arrangement of items. I want it to be like a little bit nicer, um, but I will show you that as soon as it's ready. And with this mood board being built, um, the next episode is gonna be us 
starting on the entrance. Now, we're probably not going to get through the entire entrance in one episode because you saw how long this took to make. And obviously, I didn't do any of the water and, um, and landscaping. So that'll be like quite a lot. But I'm, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. And I would never say that with a theme that had so much pink. But anyway, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Um, and I once again apologize for the no face cam. But um, I'll see you again next time. And you'll see me again next time. And until then, I hope you have an awesome time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.